RV Finch returns with some more tax collector. So we are heading out to see if I can find the uh, interdimensional thingamajig. I didn't have time to look to find it <laughs> in the other videos. Too busy, all right? Too busy. So we're going to jump into Adslin Gate and see if I can figure it out. Um, yeah, a second time. So let's just pop out here. And we need to leave and go to these pre-collapse facilities. Now, last time I found it, I want to say up here. But it's like here or here. So I'm oh, full survey data. Wait a second. Coronal Humpershun. I've been here, so it's not this one. Uh, I'm going to go... System unexplored, system unexplored. I'm going to go up here. Uh, Anzu. It's here. Let's go fly. Fly, you fools. Interstellar relay built at radiance, eminence, I mean. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just want to go north, but there's no... No norths. Oh, 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 ow. Oh, wow, the pain. Okay. <laughs> Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Use the link in the description for freecash.com. Or you can use the join button. There's a join channel button. Uh, for those who like to do that Patreon kind of deal, that's a YouTube version of Patreon. It exists. And it's pretty nice. You get, uh... To be a YouTube member. Okay. So we have some unsurveyed planets here. Uh, there's the pre collapse facility. Move into a gauge. We'll send in Z homies. Sure. Yeah, we'll just, um, okay, I pushed, pushed weird buttons, go, capture all the things, look how fast that ship is, wow, it goes 336 feet, that thing, it's like lightning, man, fire all the missiles, Oh, you're cooked, buddy. Pop goes the weasel. Alright, now everyone's gonna fight over here. You kill this. Kill that. Turn it into kill mode. Mm, don't think that's the best choice. You've made poor life choices. Oh my goodness. What missile volley was that? That was well deserved. You run in there solo like that, you crazy person. This attack should. It's supposed to be you, and you, and you. I don't know what happened. Maybe the attack order bugged it up. Yeah, standing in your own anomaly, probably not a great idea. Okay. You are in deep here. That's so many pylons. This is the greatest ship of all time. Alright, how you guys doing? Someone's firing at you. Oh, it's a cruiser. Yeah, just keep on shooting at him. All the salts. Pew, 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 pew. Man, Harvey's a good captain. Yeah, look at that. Just 
almost all over it. Yeah. Alright, uh, victory. I lost the ship though, which, I mean, yeah. Painful. Got another void ray. Okay. Send the salvage team down. Uh, yeah. What is that? Tripped interdictor. Two modular constructors, okay. I don't remember how I got it. I really don't. Interdimensional thingamajig. That's a phaeton. That's somebody floating around. Derelict pet center in the Tundra world. It's not a bad planet. Yeah, thermal lance, big old weapon. PRV. Package, we already got that one. Okay. Let's go hit up the uh, pet center here. What do we get? Koros Leopard Cryo Chamber. Alright. Cyber Pirate Parrot. Mech Guiders. Mech Guiders? Tiny Spider Like Utility Drones. And the Phase Cat. It's a Phase Cat. Well, now we got a face cat. I mean, <laughs> we didn't have one before. We got one now. Okay, cool. We got some stuff over here. Looks like it's just some debris. Colony growth of sublimation platform up to six. You've done it. Uh, what do we build? Commerce. Probably commerce is the right thing, right? Can we not do that? Am I... Is my brain broken? Is this commerce? Income 60,000. Increases colony growth. Can we not... See... It, that must count as the commerce. Yeah, that must count. Can we have one in the star system? Oh. Oh. Can't be built on a gas giant. Oh. Right. But there is a toxic atmosphere. Maybe just recent unrest. Doesn't seem to matter, though. Hmm. Yeah, what do we do? Intelligence. Maybe. I don't know what this does. Gives us... has a hefty cost. Installing Alpha AI would seem to speed up the process. If such thing was allowed, of course. Of course it's allowed. Monthly upkeep, 67,000. Gives us three things. Uh, secret locations. Okay, I mean, it finds stuff. Probably... Can't do any of these. Don't need to do any of these. Probably best just to do light production then. Because there's an atmosphere, so we don't want to make it polluted. Let's just do light production. That's good. Colossus 2. Lieutenant Saturn Peterson. Who? Who? Um, he's steady. He's dismissed. See ya, Saturn. You're not level 7 anyway. There's a gate. Fantastic. We're gonna hit this gate up for sure. Light destroyer. 
Tyrant has sluggish vents now. Yep, looks like you do. I'm a little... We made a million bucks. That's wild. That is insane how much money we're making. Wow. <laughs> yep. I mean, Harvey Investments, what can you say? Which investments, they know what they're doing. They are investing. Harvey is very, very smart. I'm just gonna take all this stuff. We're gonna go explore some more. Orbital habitat. Commander Gamel Rossi. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got an, a gamma core from Mr. Rossi, and we'll have a check in a second. Ten Marines. We'll take uh, Rossi back. I don't want this. The ones that we're not putting into our service, we just assume that uh, they hold a berthing until we get to a planet. And then, you know, we just see them. See them off. Somewhere. What is this? You're a pirate. Why are you here? What kind of trouble are you getting into? Okay, we have some survey information. Mm, Pre-collapse. I've looked at these. This I feel like this. these are all the pre-collapse that I've seen. Maybe I have to go do the one... The mission where we purchase it. Probably. You know what? Let's just assume that's the case. So we'll go... Um, yeah, we'll go south. It's a lot of... A lot of gas we just used. That's okay. Um, how many of these do I have? Seven? Yeah, whatever. 66, 18. Wow, it's a lot of food. Just dump it all. That can be here. Sure, I'll hold up pet food. There we go. I'll learn trip interdictor. I'll sell this. I'll buy that. Let's get out of here and head back home. I gotta put something onto Tally. Colony Crisis, upcoming Hegemony AI inspection. You've received intel that the Hegemony is putting an AI inspection on targeted Nocturne Station. The inspection arrives at your colony. Your options include open hostilities with the hegemony or loss of at least some of your AI cores. If the inspection is defeated by military means, the hegemony is likely to escalate the conflict, although only up to a point. Crisis can be averted if event progress is reduced to 425 points or below. The hegemony has no functional military bases. An interesting conundrum we're having. An interesting conundrum. Ah, we got hit. We need to check colony threats. So we still have these. This one's slowly taken down. This one should be taken down too. But let's uh, pop on over to Nocturne Station. Which I think is back here. It isn't. Where is it? Nocturne, we'll head on over. I, I went to the wrong one. Crazy Nocturne, we will... I mean, obviously we're going to resist. Yeah, this is what they want to come and get. We leave Nocturne Station alone. Uh, 
it can defend itself. No, you have commerce and a Volbrand Javas. You got both. You have a big army too. Big old army. These are all industries. Apparently we're on a gas giant. Well, planetary defense force it is. All oh, right, I need to do this. Why is the stranger talking to me? Hmm. Your attention, what do you mean? Look, space isn't that big of a place. You can't hear about Harvey Finch. Believe it or not, some people even started calling you the seeker of knowledge. Your deeds haven't gone unnoticed. What does that mean? Plenty of people out there keeping tabs on you. What you've been doing as of late. Some look for signs of danger, threats, or that sort of thing. And if there's nothing, they just move on. Others, like me, look deeper and think you might be the right person for the kind of valuable intel I possess. Hmm. Back in the olden days, I was part of a hegemony expedition fleet. We had only one task. Investigate some strange signals coming from a planet far off the core worlds. Simple job, on paper, that is. It was supposed to be a simple investigation, but then we got there. It turned out into wholesale slaughter. The entire fleet of strange ships, the likes of which I've never seen, appeared out of nowhere and annihilated the entire expedition. I'm the only one who survived. To this day, I wonder if Command actually knew what kind of danger they were sending us into. Or they didn't, and that's the result. Don't know which is worth, frankly. Where's the planet? Way out there. Beyond the veil. Hmm. She slides the tripod across the table, blinking set of coordinates pointed in the direction well outside the core. The data... The core 2? The data I have is right in here. This is the system where we got ambushed. For a minute there, you were caught by the story. But you know, you now see that following up on it is a fool's errand. Interesting. So, some strange person. Can I hire? No, I can't. Okay. So, on Nocturne Station, we met a strange individual that wants us to go beyond the veil. Isn't there... Is this place? No, 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 no. Beyond the Veil is here. In Morum. It costs a lot to get there. And we do have to deal with this... Silly hegemony inspection. I can let them come for us. Mm, they'll escalate the conflict only up to a point. I mean, everyone's escalating the conflict. These guys obviously... <laughs> they obviously are very mad at us. But our detachments are also terrifying. I would not want to fight against the fleet. my goodness. No battleships, though. Hold on, can I add battleships to the blueprint doctrine? Ship hulls, capitals. Oh, I only have these two. Alright, I'll throw them on, see what happens. Yeah, I just don't have the, the blueprints. Okay. Got Dallas crew. Military bounties, rackish woman, no. Hmm. You want me to go smash some pirates? Not interested. Not interested in you guys either. What I am interested in is... Stopping the disruption here. You're... You're stopping this place from making money.
actually... Oh, it's just the stability. That's literally it. Recent unrest is 6 stability. Rebellion's down to 3. It's a free port. Let's dump the free port. And now it makes money. Yeah. It's cold and habitable. Can I put an item on it? Oh yeah, install item. I can remove cold. Um... Yeah. That will lower the hazard rating, right? Because this will... Counters the effects of cold, extreme cold, poor light, darkness, increase heat on non-cold planets, adds demand for volatiles. Well, you have cold, so... Let's manage item. We'll uninstall it. What? Is this already removing cold? Yeah, counters the effects of heat, cold, irradiated, toxic, and dark and all that stuff. So this already counters it. And gives us extra money, which is great. Aegis counters meteor impacts. So both these are countered. So this planet could be kind of ridiculous in terms of its money. Um, this thing would... Counter toxic tectonic activity increase in. Yeah, I wouldn't need to do any of that. Um, the only thing I can do to this planet is upgrade this to a terminus, but I'd want to make improvements first. Because that would give us an extra 40% accessibility. Um, not until the rebellion's over, because it might flip still. Yeah, sublimation platform can do that. We have recent unrest, but that's going away. You get the Vol Branch office. You have toxic atmosphere, which Vol Branch gets rid of. It does. So you're just base 90. That's amazing. And you make so much stuff. Does have light production here? Gold light industry. Congratulations. Got heavy batteries. We got fuel production. We got refining. Which I can upgrade once I get those production things. Uh, blast processing also requires one. Look at that production. It's insane. So like refining, you upgrade to uh, neither of these. It's not refining, it's smelting? No, it's... Uh, It's this. It's a mining one. So I need to mine uh, volatiles into the other two and we can upgrade these. But you could benefit from upgrading to a terminus. So we'll do that. Upgrade to terminus. I am. Because you have no problems. No, I need the bar. That's why I came here. Flashy dressed man for a drink. Nope. Uh, eradicator blueprint? No, thanks. Okay, so we now go make our way back to the gate network. Have a look to see. This is my closest gate. Oh, maybe that one's the closest gate. Yeah, we gotta get more gas and stuff, so we'll head on over. Okay. We're going to fill up on gas and head on over to see what we can get. It was a government victory. I saw it. We need this. We can have all that. We can keep all this. Yeah, just need more gas. More gas! There's lots of places we can stop to get the gas. Why are we speed 18? 
Who is the slow one here? Who is the slow one? It's one of you guys. Could be you. Maximum burn six. Yeah, I might have to fight a whole bunch. Let's see. Uh, yeah. It's definitely you that you're you're the slow one. Because you guys you guys are all fast. I think. We're going 18, so Hmm. Don't know. Um Dark Corner, Cyber Mod Jack, Delivery Contract. No. Uh, don't need to talk to any of these people. Need the high hegemony, but no. Let's just get the gas. Leave me alone, hegemony. Peace out. Uh, we're at war with these guys. Where else is another big gas station? Jengala? I think. This is a big planet. I think. There's Orbital Fleet Works being checked out. Let's go to Eminence. Get that. Oh, we're disrupted. I don't think we can get any of these anyway. Yeah. Acquire the hyper hyperdimensional processing unit for all these, which I don't remember how to get. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'll remember. One point one million. This is crazy. Tough looking women. Details for the target vessel. No thanks. Moon Sato. Yeah, we've made friends with you. Let's get the gas. I'll need some of this. Good old Jane Gala. Alright, we'll go to Ashru here. Let's see what the old man wants. My fleet's too large. Sinister woman in a booth. You want recreational drugs? No, 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 no. I just want their gas. Uh, all right. I don't think we're getting enough gas here. Terminus just finished at Nocturne Station. 342. My goodness. You're building commerce right now. Okay. That's fine. Keep building it. Asconia has gas. They also have things for us to fight. So let's go in. We are hostile. Ooh. Why am I... Why am I... Seeing you as a war target? That's why. Surprise. Mm, I don't think we need anything special here. No. Police fleet can do it. Let's go. Go there. Off we go. For victory. Alright. What is gonna happen? You are in some interesting areas, friends. Yep. 
Yeah, I sent the guys in the back up there because the guys in the front are busy. There you go, that's what I like to see. Don't really know why these gunships are here, but I'm all for it. Smash. I think that was your gunships, right? Nope, you don't have gunships. So who has the gunships? I don't know. Is it you? No. You're a bunch of Kopesh. There's the gunships again. Do you own the gunships? Maybe. Yeah. Get him, Quantum Theory! Victory! Little timer, go away. Full assaulting. Command frequency open. Is the command frequency open like when I do this and then this? I don't know. I don't know why the command frequency keeps opening. I think it might be the Vengeance ships? Uh, these ones? I think. Alright, ship recovery. Was I supposed to like take over one of these? They all are normal. I'm here to steal your gas. That's basically why we're here. Um, yeah, oh boy. Yeah, Sindria, you think you're going to be safe? I'm back to knock out your missile station again. Consider your military options. This is the battle station. And we'll just do... This should be fine. It's not the missile station yet. The missile station comes next. We're just basically here to steal the gas. That's what it's come down to. Sindria owes so much in taxes that we have to take their gas from them. There you go. Don't free bird me. Closer does more damage. Mm -hmm. Everything's exploding, so we'll just keep moving north. Oh, that's not good. There you go. Boom. Battle station. <laughs> it's got no support. What are they supposed to do? Alright. I'll engage the artillery station too. It has no friends, right? Nope. So we'll just go full speed. Let's go. Yep. Lila takes all the heat, and all we gotta do is get up, lay down the hurt, hit the magic button. Get nice and close so the damage increases. Uh huh. Don't stand a chance, my friend. There we 
go. The fastest win <laughs> against the station ever. They just fixed it too. Okay, I'm gonna launch a raid. I'm going to take um I want to just take their gas. Taking their alpha cord would be good too. Yeah, sure, we'll take some gas as well. Select. Launch raid. Oh, you know it was me. You know it was me. And now I just want to do this. The church fleet is here and they're like, oh, what happened? Why does my fleet not look giant? Shouldn't it look huge? I don't know. And what's this? Oh, this peacekeepers? Um, if I go to Umbra... I mean, they're not chasing me anymore with all their fleets, but they know I'm here. Okay. Animated Storyteller. That's a pirate onslaught. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just buy your gas. I'll sell you some stuff because you want it. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's fine. You can have all that stuff. You're welcome. Colossus Mark III. Uh, the Peacekeepers are here. We got Sindria. Fuel Station Security coming our way. Hegemony took stand. Interesting. Let's see who are you fighting. I can't fight any of these guys. They're all my enemies. Is this the honest labor fleet? <laughs> Guess what? You owe taxes. Fuel taxes. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Alright, we'll do this uh, rating, and I'll have to... Uh... Basically, we're going to go and do... Oh, this is all moving. That's kind of cool. I don't think there's many times that I noticed we were fighting in an asteroid field, but that's cool. We'll have to go to that um, far, far, far station and see what's going on. Don't know who this person is, but something's up. Victory. More victory. Um, yeah, it's just a mining fleet, so kind of overkill. Get in there, boys. Wow. What what is this? <laughs> wow. Serious. This reminds me of the Earth Bimbari War. If you haven't watched Babylon 5, you should. It's old, it's dated. The story's fantastic. Last like 10 years ago, maybe. Uh, wait. They're still killing some drone tenders and stuff. Why were they going down there? Okay. Get missiled. The gunships are right here. Poor drone tender. Always the last to go. But we need your gas. We'll commandeer it as taxes. That wasn't very much. But, a research vessel. 
That's a watchtower. That's a nab buoy. Prometheus, Prometheus, Prometheus. Those are the slow ones slowing us down. At six burn level. Ah, that's a big fleet. Guess what? I'm going to fight it now. Yeah. I'm going to go fight it right now. It's the Grand Fuel Fleet, and it's bigger than us, so naturally, I want to go in. Yeah, we're going to bring in... Let's unleash the heat. Can't unleash too much of the heat here. There we go. Okay. Let's try not to get hit by the tyrant. Good grand fuel fleet. You must have some fuel. We will take it from you. Enemy spotted. Gauging enemy. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you're cooked. All right, I gotta go deal with some battleships. Yes. See if we're close. We can do the most damage. Uh oh. Taking a lot of heat. One of the battleships is down. All their missiles are blowing up because they're going through the anomaly. Just get nice and close. Shoot a giant hole through you. Same with you. Ah, oh, it's got a sting. Uh, is the whole Grand Fuel Fleet destroyed? They're not. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. You, come here. Yeah. Got a lot of missiles flying out right now. So much stuff is happening. I'm actually just fighting their entire fleet. Oh boy. Yeah, there you go. There's some heat for you. Uh huh. More missiles. There we go, there we go. Fire. Why are we still being fired up by this missile launcher? <laughs> I guess it's full volley, right? You. So I get the more damage I do. That's right. We have so much damage, just crossfire damage. It's crazy. This is nuts. <laughs> this was a crazy fight. Mm -hmm. 
He's not allowed to leave. Don't let him leave. Engine's out. Got him. Who's left? Nothing. Nothing's left. The Grand Fuel Fleet is no longer grand. It's just very, very sad and destroyed. That's better. Thousand. Okay, well, obviously they're mad about that. And they're going after Hanan Patra. Which I don't think they'll be able to take. It's quite defended. Can make it more defended. And what if I upgrade it to a high command as well? Ground defenses are pretty good. You have pirate activity. You are making me clean room tech too. You're doing pretty good. Um, how's that gonna attack? What are they gonna attack it with? It's being assembled at Volturn. Two fleets, yeah. Volturn's right here. Hey, Volturn. I can go to Yannick Ram's safe house. Sure. Prepare a concealed weapon. Equip a hollow recorder. Bring marines. Yeah. Prepare a concealed weapon too. What would he never suspect? Um... Modern molecular wire. Sort of an officer. He'll probably use a gun. Yeah. Equip a secret holo recorder rig. <laughs> I've done it all. This thing that's it up. Um it's a whisper of a transmitter visible only to when it catches the light. Yeah, okay, board the shuttle. Let's go. With a flash of Sindri and Food Company load of the shuttle receives navigation instructions from orbital traffic control. Just ignore the fact that I came in smashing all of the fleets in space. <laughs> yeah, you begin to make out the lights of floating habitats, sprawling far farm envelopes, and transient mining platforms. The shuttle hits Atmo with barely perceptible change to the craft's harmonics. As the surface grows closer, the glittering lights and reflections of artificial structures resolve into a stark image. One half of sparkling towers, pristine tourist archaeologies, arcologies, and even the sector famous Volturnian Lobster Garden. On the other, sprinklings of garbage, plumes of smoke from processing plants, oil slicks from extraction platforms. A spew of jet stream trailing from an overcrowded Habs. The company has allowed this mismatch of unregulated business to proceed as long as it continues to bring in dividends. Mm -hmm. Ram's safe house is in a logistics and warehouse complex attached to the spur of one such industrial cluster. The air is thick with the sweet stench of petrochem. Your disguised marine squad fans out passably passing plausibly for workers on a shift break, snacking on nutrition bars and igniting narco sticks. A quick glance at your data pad shows your perspective in perfect miniature. The holorec unit is working perfectly. Into the state, state house. A plainclothes compliance goon, obvious from their demeanor, opens the door looks you over disapprovingly and relieves you of your holstered sidearm before leading you down metal stairs to a dark inner room below the street level. Yannick Ram sits at a cheap conference table, dismissing the goon with a wave. The door thuds shut behind you, its weight suggesting armor or shielding. Captain, Captain, I am so pleased that you have joined me. We have much to discuss, much to do. Ram stands with a chilly smile. 
Simply put, the plan and my fellow patriots are in agreement is to test and provoke the leaders of the Sindrian Fuel Company's three arms of power. They will either prove their loyalty to the vision of the Supreme Executive, Lion of Sindria, Philip Andrada, or they will show themselves to be corrupt cowards and traitors who must be removed to ensure the continued existence of Andrada's dream. First, the security forces. While the executive manager of the Board of Security and Armament is normally in charge, he lies half-conscious in a clinic on Sindria. The Supreme Executive should have replaced him a cycle ago, but has not. In his place, Vice Executive Manager Oksana Haider commands the Asconia System Defense Armada. She is unimaginative, and I suspect she regrets leaving the hegemony behind during the Battle of Saulus. Play it cool for now and let him talk. Enough of this repair your weapon, let him talk. Um, nah, just play it cool. Next, Grand High Deputy Executor Horatio Caden. By the decree of Andrada, he ranks second only to the Supreme Executive and leads the Lion's Guard, which is sworn to protect the person of Philip Andrada and the integrity of his gray division. Ram clenches his jaw, anger now showing through. Caden has clearly failed. He is a dogmatic simpleton, repeating the words of the lion without feeling them, knowing them. He does not know true hard work and honest labor. Captain Ram's almost shouting toward the ceiling, perhaps addressing Caden and the other misguided followers of the Century and Fuel Company. Let him keep talking. It's a muffled thump. Ram's goon dropping something. But the weight of the door suggests it would take a great deal more force to make a sound which could be heard in this room. Which brings me to Executive Manager Dolos Macario, Ram continues, almost spitting. Head of the Board of Human Resources, of which I am, of course, a part. Never was there a more... Pauses, lifting his hand to his ear. He turns to you with a confused look. The door opens in a flash, a thud of a shockwave. Buffets you back half a step, ears ringing. Blurred shadows burst in. Tarting lasers, flickering firearms, covering you and Ram. Through the settling clouds of dust, steps a man in a long black coat, a perfect black uniform. Ram gasps, hands raised, now mercifully at a loss for words. Ugh. The pistol in the man's hand barks once. Yannick Ram falls to the ground, dead. Oh! What? Who's that? Oh my goodness, it's the human resources manager. Captain Harvey Finch. Dolos Macario, head of the company's board of human resources in person. The spider of Sindria, they call him, who lurks in the lion shadow and strings up his enemies, extracts their secrets, and makes them suffer before they are disappeared, allegedly speaking. The weapon is now aimed at you. What an awkward first meeting, he glances down, then looks back up, smiling like a corpse. My humblest apologies. But first, he dips his pistol towards your scabbard. Your clasp is loose. As you hesitate, he says, the sword of an officer must be kept secure, yes? Mustn't have an accident, nor draw such a blade in haste. We need not repeat your little adventure on Eventide here, yes? You will find that we have a much more modern attitudes in Asconia. Macario's eyes flick to lead yours to Ram's corpse on the floor, the blood pooling. Secure your scabbard's clasp. He holsters his pistol and stepping over Ram's cooling body draws the chair from the table. Let us sit down a moment. All this excitement, I would very much like you to like to have a chat with you. I'll sit. I am a, a gentleman and officer, by the way. Macario gives his soldiers a dismissive little wave. You expect that they'll be at the ready nearby. Captain Ram was a traitor and has met the end which all traitors deserve. Macario 
leans back in his cheap folding chair. I'm embarrassed to admit that he was also in the bore in the broad strokes correct in his assessment of current state of our dear Sindrian Fuel Company. And his plan is a reasonable one. I have decided to enact it with your cooperation. What a twist. What plan? That unhinged ranting? <laughs> the plan is simple enough. In light of the Supreme Executive's upcoming transition, we must root out treason and corruption at the highest level. By which I mean, of course, those arms of the state which pro project violent force. The security forces in the person of Oxana Hyder and the Lion's Guard in the person of Horatio Caden. I, of course, see to the reliability of my own board. He looks to Ram's corpse. Once the means of force are purged of traitors, they shall burn out the rot that has taken root in the Great Dream. The so-called Volturnian resistance and the double blight of Voltaria and Umbra insistence in not accepting our might. Once our power base in Esconia is consolidated, the company may turn its gaze outward. What do you mean, turn its gaze outward? Wait, doesn't this make you a traitor? Doesn't, I don't know about this plan. How about this? Mm, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, what to say? What's in it for me? I mean, I'm just a, a humble banker, investment banker. <laughs> Influence, credits, advanced spacecraft hulls, experimental weapons, and of course, all the fuel your fleet can handle. That, that I could use. Lucario spreads his hands wide, a river of generosity, then takes a moment to whisper into his cuff. That is a taste to ensure that I have your attention for the remainder of our conversation. He gave us three kinetic blasters? And 40,000 credits? I mean, I make a million a month, bro. <laughs> Alright. Fine. Fine. Um. Doesn't this make you a traitor? Of course not. Authority flows from power. After I secure the future of the company, only traitors will be those who oppose me. Um. Does Andrada know? That question is no longer relevant. Question now is of who is prepared to carry on in his name. We can only conclude that there is a power vacuum in the space Andrada should be. There's been no public announcement of death or illness, but the Citrine Fuel Company keeps very tight control of its information sphere and never shows signs of weakness. Um, what do you mean turns case outwards? You didn't get to your position without knowing the mean of ambition, Captain. You of all people know full well the ambitions will be attacked on all sides by lesser men, whether from brutish ignorance or degenerate ideologies. The sector is in turmoil. Imagine if its might and resources were focused by the vision of a man with ambition. You know, this kind of hits extra hard right now because the sector currently is on fire. <laughs> Everyone is fighting. It's kind of nuts. And, uh, yeah, this is... Okay. Are you a man with ambition? Someone must be. Philip knew this in his time. Hey, why would I want to help you? An interesting question. You are hated amongst those of consequence in the Sindrian Dictat. You are to be shot on sight. Why? I should turn you in myself. But don't you see, as an outsider, a comrade of terrorists and traitors, you are my perfect friend. You will be trusted by internal enemies with traitorous intent. Okay, what do you want done? You begin to understand. Good. I shall provide you with a file. It concerns an officer under Vice Executive Manager Hayer's command who she has ordered to meet with a smuggler to purchase armaments. This is, of course, treason. Hater believes she must circumvent the bureaucracy to maintain the condition of the defense armada. 
She is correct. The lion's guard takes the lion's share. He makes a strange, surprised, suppressed noise at his own joke. Of the security procurement budget. This provides us an opening leverage. Confront this officer, arrest them, or kill them if they resist. Even destroy the fleet and keep the smuggled weapons. I don't care. I shall ensure that after the fact you are seen as, at worst, performing an accidental service to the company. The purpose of this is to draw out Hyder. I shall ensure she knows you were behind the interception. She will want to confront and eliminate you herself to the sensitive nature of the matter. Okay. Usurpers. This is your opening. Explain yourself as acting upon my orders of the company or representing a weapon supplier seeking to replace her previous contract. I'm sure you'll come up with something good. The point is you have her attention and you'll have her compromised. Find out her intentions if she's willing to engage in open treason or if pushed she will side with myself the legitimate authority in the upcoming struggle her rivalry with Caden the lion's guard is well known so that may be a good axis upon which to turn her okay I'll see what I can do there we go relationship improved with the Sindrian fuel company to 90 <laughs> just stop the war <laughs> uh just one thing, Captain. You've been very, very bad. I'll arrange matters to allow you to operate in company space, but you must promise to behave. You'll behave? He doesn't wait for an answer. Good. <laughs> oh, man. That's, um... That is something else. That is something else. Alright. Well, we'll see you in the next up, uh, episode. That's what we'll do. Um, canceled, canceled. The invasion's canceled. Then everything's canceled. <laughs> so good. So good. I don't know when this is going to hit. Next month, I think. Uh, if this crisis is triggered, an event progress would be set between 0 and 400. Okay. Well, we'll head back. And see, but I'll see you in the next episode, folks. Is that the patrol? I have no idea. Our goal, okay, so next episode, what are we gonna do? I'll show you. We're gonna be heading out to uh, where was it? Here, we're heading out to here. It costs us 7,000 fuel, so 14,000 total. We'll just jump over, uh, but I gotta deal with. I gotta deal with this hegemony raid first, so I'll deal with it, and then we'll uh, we'll head on over and figure out what's going on out here. See you next time.